We need to take it back. All of us. All of us should be outraged that a 10 year old girl was murdered. Because, yes, we found her. We did this. If you feel afraid to come up to me and hug me, or voice your opinion, or just pay attention, that's why she's dead. Because on a school night, a car gunman jumped out of a car and shot randomly. Makaya runs, bullet hits her back, goes through the front. My grandmother always told me, whenever you upset, whenever you mad, walk the other way. Don't let your emotions get the best of you. So I walked to Philadelphia, me and my brother Chief. Chief, where you at? Clap it up for my brother, please. I walked to Philadelphia where my brother was murdered. I don't care about none of this bull crazy crap that they put into the world about the KKK and Caucasians, white people, whatever you call it. I love everybody. Everybody, we breathe the same air. We breathe the same air. It's a trick to make us still feel segregated. They have the right, the First Amendment, to believe whatever they believe. It's us as a people that got to learn how to maneuver through the trials and the tribulations. Because you want to know what? God not going to take you to it and not take you through it. God ain't going to take you to it and not take you through it. God ain't going to take you to it and not take you through it. Well. Amongst the people, racism. Yo, yo, what's going on, man? Good morning. This is another episode of Rap About TV. Uh, today is a little different. We have a special guest with us, um, Mike D'Angelo, uh, recorder and artist. Uh, he's using this platform to bring awareness to uh, violence, gun violence. Um, this is a quick think tank. Uh, what I want, the purpose of this is really want to come in here and uh, pull our resources and come up with ideas and solutions to, uh, to increasing the unity. Um, so real, right off the bat, we, we, we on the time constraint. Going through this situation, uh, what idea or solutions can you, that you took away with, that you can offer to people that we can, you know, take as homework and we can start coming together and building us, you know, as a community? I feel like it's imperative right now. It's very, very, extremely imperative that we not only Educate ourselves on every other cranny in our community to see the, you know, the, the issues that we go through that we make our problems. You know what I'm saying? Like we doing this to each other. KKK stand for kings killing kings. You know what I'm saying? KKQ for kings killing kings. So at the end of the day, we gotta have this uncomfortable conversation and get into that comfortable locked in space to address these issues so we can make progression through this. Or you know, these 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 are. Kids that I didn't have to do events for and give straight hard cash from my concerts to families. So that's the Maya, the young girl that was found in her school dead. You feel me? You got Stephen Slaughter hit by a straight bullet. Directly after Jasmine Light got hit by a straight bullet. That's James Anthony Smith that got murdered for a pair of Jordans. You feel me? I got a tattoo with a Jordan logo with, a, with Buddha holes in it. You understand what I'm saying? I've been right there because I was showing my friend as a kid get killed for a pair of Jordans. At the bottom, you got Amir Brooks that was killed by, you feel what I'm saying? No, no that, that's Amir, no, this is Amir Brooks right here. You right. know what I'm saying? And, and, and right here, that girl you grabbed him, and, and a list of other people. Uh, this is my niece, Makaya Wilson, 10 year old young queen that was just murdered. The daughter of Michael Wilson and, you know, Donetta, which is my sister. She was murdered, hit by a straight bullet with a gun and jumped out of the car and got to shoot randomly and hit her in the back ripped out the front of her body, you feel me? These are things that are affecting our community. If these kids are the key holder of our futures, why are we not valuing their life? Right, right, the streets right. comes with certain guidelines and rules and code of ethics. That's gone, and man. What happens is, if you don't educate yourself on what it entails being in the streets, if you don't know what a civilian is, if you don't know proper protocol on how to con conduct yourself, in situations where you feel like it's an eye for an eye, dog eat dog world. These kids ain't signed up for it. You understand what I'm saying? So if you beefing with somebody or you got issues that can affect what's around you, your mother, your grandparents, stuff like that, you gotta get that, you gotta get back on police in your neighborhood. You gotta say, hey listen, you can't hang, y'all can't hang on here. Don't play on here. Yeah. Go go to the park up the street or something. 
You feel what I'm saying? Because this is what's going on. We gotta have that harsh truth conversation. It's free, it's free, it's free to use your voice. If you got life in your body, use your voice. You feel me? This don't take nothing but men being men, women being women. At the end of the day, it's it's not rocket science. Right. I walked from Washington DC to Philadelphia, not for my personal gain. I had to wear the shirt of the names of these kids and random people that was murdered to help them get to a better place right. and such. So the, the wear and tear that my body went through as far as the blisters on my feet, my knee pains, hamstring pull, lower back, the shoulders, I loved it, not to sound, not to sound crazy. Pain is good. Because that's how my, I got a glimpse of how my ancestors felt. That's how Harry and them had to feel, but they didn't have a phone for GPS. They didn't have a pair of new balances. They had to move off faith and belief. And all the sacrifices that they made are going in vain. We, we worse than where we started. Because yeah. we have so much power and we're not, we're not segregated no more. But we choose to be segregated. If we don't address the issues, like we come at us as a black community, if we see a book on our mother's nose, we're afraid to say, Mom, you got a book on your nose. That's crazy to me. You understand what I'm saying? Straight up. So so real quick then, what so what solution do any and this is what anybody can have an idea. Like we'd have this think tank, you're about to go to Lincoln Memorial. Yeah. Like, are we gonna have more of those in the future? Like what is the next step? Can we do this every monthly, every other week? Like how you see, you see I've been moving, I've been moving like this since I was a youngin'. Right. It's just now getting coverage because I'm a recording artist, sign with MHG Cash Money, or and I campaign and I walk from DC to Philadelphia. It shouldn't take for that to say, hey, look at what's going on. We need to praise each other as heroes and kings and queens in the midst of whatever. Like, these are these are fellow hardworking men. So think about that young king that's in the background. Think about what he's absorbing right now. Think about the conversation. It's all off air. For all of us to live, we got to inhale and exhale. We got to protect him from being around polluted energy, right, right, the right, wrong right. information. He see this, this is going to help him be intrigued. He's going to be so intrigued to want to know about what's going on, know about what's going on to Maya. It's going to help him tell his friends, hey, guess what I was doing today. So all we got to do, like, no no one man can have all that power to change the world. I can only change the things that I need to tweak inside myself that, that what I give off in the world. You feel me? When kids is out here getting murdered, murdered, we not talking about reckless endangerment, as far as getting hit by cars. We played throwback tackle in the streets. Yeah, we did. And we had somebody on the sideline, hey, car, come and watch out. Right, 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 right. You feel me? We came, I come from a city where it used to be, remember all day pass, transfer papers, oh, yeah. bus passes? Yeah. What, I'm gonna ask everybody a question in this room real quick, follow my lead. Everybody in here by a show of hands, how many got a bank card? Right, check this out. This is, what, this is how they collapsed our mind in the district of Columbia. Listen. We used to have all day transfer bus passes and fare cards, paper, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what happens. How many times have you seen a person when we was coming up? Man, I'm done with this joint here, here you go. Yeah. Yeah. You can go into the train station and see on the floor, like you might, you might be short a dollar and some change and you will find a fare card on the ground. 35 cent, yada, yada, yada. Or somebody just say, oh, here. You feel what I'm saying? They, they changed that to a card from a smart trip card. Mm -hmm. How many of y'all would let just a random person or anybody, even a family member, hold your bank card? Right, right, right. Are you going to just give somebody your fair trip card knowing that you got to upload money on it? Mm -hmm. You yeah. feel me? So they, they killed the form of us exchanging, having exchange with each other. You want to know why? Because it was gentrified. Mm -hmm. It was changing. More condos, bigger businesses. They don't want us having interaction with the people that's bringing money to the city. Yeah. Whites, Caucasians, the Asians, the Ethiopians. They don't want us to have the comfortability of going to them and saying, here you go. Right. They want us to just, just stay in our corner. Mm. So what certain people do is, that's why they put in like the little bike ramps and stuff. The scooters and stuff. Yeah. They don't want us, all, they, they try to separate us from being all in one group. They don't want to have these uncomfortable conversations. We got to educate our kids and our future and our people on, on these things because that's what made us survive. That's how we got around. I didn't mind walking from my neighborhood in Edgewood to Shaw Junior High School to get to school because it was a transaction. I know I didn't have no tokens. I know I didn't have a bus pass, but I know if I got out there at that bus stop at enough time, somebody's going to hand me one from the window and open up the back door for me. 
Yeah. You think what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we looked out for each other at that at that point in time. Right. You feel me? So when a kid gets murdered in the street and you sitting there glorifying violence and you sitting there doing that, but you not protecting these same people, you feel me? Let's pay attention to what's going on in these groceries. Like, go to any grocery store. I'll buy you anybody to open your eye up. Uh, so it's the women that's sitting there at the cashier. It's the women that's at the end of the aisle banging up grown men groceries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting in labor. Yeah. It's the women. Yeah. The women stepping up to the plate and being leaders and putting in all the labor. And we sitting there watching, acting like we supposed to get served when we not protecting. Straight up. All right, so look, we're short on time, man. Just let everybody know where they can follow you, they can get behind you and support you, where everything you got going on. And we can keep this train moving, man. The Think Tank and get together and talk about it. And shout out to the Think Tank. I am Mike D'Angelo. You can follow me at I A M underscore M I K E D A N G E L O underscore. I am Mike D'Angelo. I just now started a new page as well. I will be walking across the country. I will be walking across wow. the country in these dangerous and you know, poverty stricken condition neighborhoods. I will be going to Africa. I will be walking the Great Wall of China. I will be touching on these issues and not only bring love, world peace, equality, justice, etc., etc., for minorities and all that. You can follow it as Walk with Mike D. Walk with Mike D. And just follow the journey, get on, and let everybody know what you're doing. You legendary. Hey man, appreciate that, man. Appreciate you coming to and touching the people. Love no, talk, man. No, yes, sir. No, no. Hey, rap about TV, man. Think tank, man. We out. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Oh. Ready? Hello, world. I'm tired of being tired. I feel close to the black man that just want to get high. Broke mornings and spot. Hustle to bustle daily. I'm talking no ends to me to feed your baby. I just want to make a difference. I'm talking real change when you feel the difference. When you feel so inspired, you feel different. I need someone that's going to listen. Because it's like we trapped or die. More like we are trapped to die. In a system designed to never let us succeed. Different skin tones and colors, but we all bleed. My country, tears are deep. Man, I'm sick of the bullshit. I'm feeling like a purge coming in. I need a full clip. Watching my city change the best fit the needs of our lighter skin residents. I mean, I'm not going to fake like I was impressed to have a black president. But it's all clear and evident. Who's still in control? Puppets politics and protecting they role. This land stole from my four score fathers. Black men don't be absent because our children need their fathers. Mm -hmm. I said, black men don't be absent because our children need their fathers. Mothers unite, and I'm so suited and booted to fight, like how my great-great-grandmother was always ready to fight. Where's the light? Because I got to shine it on what really matters. Education stole from us, but we still getting our masters. I said, education stole from us, but we still getting our masters. What you ain't know? The ratio, the facts. No, boo-boo. All black people don't just trap and rap. You just only have access to keep you in your trap, and I'm just trying to learn the 50 shades of black. I'm trying to cool them every night. Let's go. I'm yeah. making a difference. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm making a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Yeah. 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 Hey, listen, hold up. Keep it going. Woo. Keep it going. Yeah. 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 Hey, hold up, kids. Hey, listen. Uh -huh. The revolution shall be televised. You understand what I'm saying? This is a queen. Thank you. This is the power. This is the voice of our people. Yes. Where can we follow you at right now? Let us know. Azira the poet. Spell it out. A Z I Y R A H T H E P O E T. Azira the poet. I'm a mentor. I will help your kids do whatever. I have a free space for them to just enjoy themselves, to do art and express themselves away from these corrupt streets. On the count of three, LFP legendary as loud as we can. One. Two, three, be legendary! Wow. As much amongst the people, racism.